What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite for a quick guide on how to complete the brand new Rebirth Island Blueprint Easter Egg, which just got added here with the launch of Season 3. There's obviously a number of other surprises that have gotten added to this map, which I'll be covering in some separate videos, but I've broken this down into three different steps, and I've recorded it in a live cutcom type format to make it a little bit easier for you guys to comprehend. If you, for whatever reason, prefer to read an article about this instead, you can check out the brand new one going up over on Detonated.com in the next couple of minutes. There's also additional coverage for Season 3 for multiplayer, Zombies, Warzone Mobile, Best Loadouts, and even CDL. But with that being said, enjoy the guide. All right, so in this Easter egg, you're going to be hitting up a couple of different locations. Factory, Harbor, Chemical Engineering, and even the Industry. So we're going to break this down into three different steps. You can do these steps in any order that you want, but considering our drop, we're going to start with the Factory. You want to look for an ID badge located out of bounds in a wooden crate. Go through this window, head into here, shoot the crate, and there goes the ID badge. You now want to take this badge to the harbor. This building in particular, where there's a secret room that you can open using the badge. This is again, all part of the first step. Keep that in mind. Sometimes there'll be a redeploy drone you can use to get to the harbor a little bit faster. And in this game, it's here. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. Sometimes it won't be here. If you die at any point with this ID badge, make sure that you go back to your loot to pick it up. Because if you don't, you can't proceed with the rest of step one. Now, once you're at this building, head just up the stairs where you can use the ID badge, interact, Head right on in, turn on the power, and you can pick up a free UAV sitting there on the table. Very helpful. Pop that UAV, got to go prone off for the occupation scan, where we can start the next step. So, the next point of interest we got to hit up is the chemical engineering, which for some reason, everyone and their mom is obsessed with today. Not sure if it's because the Easter egg just got solved, or if it's just our content creator luck. But, we want to go over to the chemical engineering, where we're going to be looking for a couple of numbers. These numbers will be found next to some very specific symbols, which you guys might recognize if you played the raids back during Mono Warfare 2. The symbols are Russian. The first symbol is right up the stairs, and I'm going to call it a W. The first number is 1. Keep note of that. The next symbol is just up the stairs in this very specific room. And this is what I call the butterfly. The number next to it is 5. Keep note of that. The third and final symbol will be located in a very special room that you guys might be familiar with if you played Blood of the Dead back during BO4 Zombies. I'm going to call this A. The number next to it is 8. So, keep note of which numbers you just found with the corresponding symbols. You now want to take what you just found into this room, where we're going to be doing a bit of a MW2 raid-like step. First, interact with this water level button. The goal is to match the numbers we just found with the symbols that they correspond to. Now, each terminal in this room will actually change a different number. Here's the trick, though. One terminal... We'll do something in particular, as you'll see. That terminal changes two numbers at once at each end. Another terminal will go ahead and change all three numbers at once. Another terminal will change just one number at once. You can use this button to reset at any time if you make a mistake. The goal here is to first use the terminal that changes all three numbers first and keep using that until the symbol W, or whatever you want to call it, matches with the correct number, which in this game is one. So we only need to hit that one time. Perfect. Then interact with the terminal that changes the two numbers at once until the butterfly is set to the correct number. In this game, it is five. So I gotta hit this a couple more times. Now what you wanna do is use the last terminal that you haven't interacted with to specifically change the A symbol to the correct number. In my game, it needs to be set to eight. So I gotta interact with this just a couple more times. Two more, and you'll be rewarded with some free durable gas masks when you do this correctly. As you can see, the numbers now match what we found upstairs. 815, free durables, free squad rage field upgrade. And that was the second step. The third and final step, or if you did this in a different order, it's up to you. But what I consider the easiest step of the Easter egg is this third part here in the industry building. Head over to this computer and you'll see a bunch of numbers in the form of percentages. You want to look at these from greatest to least. So we have 40, 49, 47, 11, 4, and 3. You want to put those numbers in from greatest to least on this keypad. So we have 49, 47. What else do we have? 4. 11. 11. Then? 4. Last three. number. And then 3. That's from greatest to least. The code has been decrypted. You can now interact with this part of the secret vault. And again, you could have done this first before you went to factory or to chemical engineering, but because you just did all three of those steps, 
all three lights are green and you can lift the island lockdown. Once you do that, this part of the vault will open up in which you can get the secret blueprint and an advanced UAV. This is a redacted burst AR, which is really solid for, I believe, the DM-56. And that is how you unlock the secret blueprint here inside of Rebirth Island Season 3. You can now permanently use this blueprint in any mode of your choice. So be sure to share this video with friends if they're having trouble with getting this Easter egg done. All right, but once you're out of the game, head over to the DG-56 Assault Rifle and you can find the redacted blueprint, which you can now take into any game. Now, unfortunately, only the person that first grabbed the blueprint will unlock it, which means you have to repeat what I just showed you guys for every member on your squad. Hopefully this video was helpful so that you guys can easily repeat this, but obviously lobbies are the sweatiest throwing a launch window, so maybe give it a couple of days, or maybe try it as fast as you can before more people learn about this and you see more and more enemies dropping at chemical engineering, at the industry, things are gonna get crazy. Now, I did wanna add one more thing to this video. The usual data miners on Twitter did report there's at least three other Easter eggs yet to be solved on Rebirth Island. We have the boat horn, the showers, and even the phone puzzle. Now, I believe the showers one is part of a different quest that's returning from Rebirth Reinforced. That was the version of the map from Vanguard's life cycle. It involves you picking up three different key cards found in different POIs in which you could bring them all to the stronghold area of the map, and you can use them in certain safety deposit boxes to get different rewards. This one called the forgotten key card could be found in the showers and you just got to interact with the shower it'll pop right out take it to the opposite end of the map to the stronghold and you can use this particular key card once you find the other ones i'll make a follow-up video or shorts and there'll be an updated article over on detonated but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section don't forget to let me know if you guys do come across any other easter eggs or surprises here on rebirth leave all your thoughts on the return of this map here for season three plus what are your thoughts on this new blueprint easter egg really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody